What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Jnark and today we're going to see if Jordan Love can win a Super Bowl with the Packers since he is now the starter. Yeah, I think honestly Jordan Love might, he could potentially be the new guy. Like, I mean, I understand we took him in a year where we thought we would still keep Aaron Rodgers, but I don't know. He, he, I think he might be the real deal, low key. Like, he be throwing dimes, bro. Like, this is a dot right here, right? Like, When did we play the Bills? Yo, that's a he, yo, he launched that. This was against the Niners. I think this was preseason too, bro. He could run. We haven't listened. We haven't seen a black quarterback for the Packers since like Brett Hundley, Deshaun Kaiser, but this is someone they actually invested in as like a starter, you know? And he just floated that ball perfectly. Okay. But yeah, we haven't seen anyone that could do that, like like a black quarterback that could do that for the team. And I think he might be able to be the game changer as he's and the people he's dotting up. And these highlights are literally the players he's going to have on the team. Maybe not number 20, but people like Samori Torre, Romeo Dobbs, Christian Watson, you know? So, we're just going to have to see. So, this is a squad Jordan Love's got to work with. He's got Romeo Dobbs, Christian Watson, Jaden Reed, Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon. Great duo here. Offense line is just okay. We have Luke Mook Musgrave and Tucker Craft along with Josiah DeGara. So, we got a pretty interesting offense. Defense... Defense will be the part that carries us for sure. I mean, I love what we're looking like. I think these guys will be able to get the get the job done for sure. Um, I don't know why Luke uh, Luke Van Ness should be a DN, so we should change that. But I think we'll be able to do a lot of damage, and we're gonna see how this first season goes with Jordan Love as quarterback one. So in the first year, which I honestly think makes sense, we go eight and nine. Jordan Love leads the pack, but they go eight and nine. Lions actually go twelve and five. Kind of surprising, but maybe not considering how they were last year. So two years in a row going eight and nine. And that's, a, I wouldn't say alarming. Our offense was eighth. Our offense was eighth. Okay, top tier offense. Jordan Love, 39 touchdowns, 15 picks, got sacked 32 times. He had a 105 pass rating. That's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. And rushing attack wasn't there, but Jaden Reed had 18 touchdowns as a rookie and 1300 yards will this happen in real life i don't know but we had two thousand yard receivers in romeo and two more thousand yard receivers in romeo dobbs and christian watson 18 touchdowns for Jaden reed that's just insane dude and defense kenny clark had seven and a half sacks but not a many not many sacks on the defensive side of things but we did get a lot of takeaways so eighth offensively jordan love threw 39 touchdowns quite a, quite a bit quite a bit super bowl is lions chiefs we also have a breakout D lineman, so that helps us out with Luke Van Ness, and he's been on fire. If game day, I think Luke Van Ness made the Pro Bowl, perhaps. That's great, but Pro Bowl roster, let's see who made it. Jordan Love did not make it. It was Jalen Hurts, Jacoby Brissett, and Bryce Young. Kind of surprising. Aaron Rodgers didn't do anything in the AFC, so I guess that's kind of good to know. Jaden Reed, Pro Bowler, W. Bakhtiari, Elton Jenkins, just about it. Luke Van Ness did not make a Pro Bowl. DeAndre Campbell did. None of our, and none of the rest of our secondary made it. So, obviously pretty interesting to see how it's shaped up to be. But nonetheless, we have the Lions who are going to be the top team to beat for, or the top team for Jordan Love to beat. I think he's, uh, I think he went pretty solid. I mean, I think this upcoming year could be the game changer for us. And Chiefs end up winning the Super Bowl, 28-21. MVP went to Jalen Hurts, Nathaniel Hackett coach of the year, Jalen Hurts won offense player of the year as well, offensive rookie of the year went to Jaden Reed, so not bad, Chiefs did end up winning the Super Bowl this year, so I guess that, I guess that correlates properly, but we are now into the new year, so this is now the year sort of, because that was the year, the year just played, Jordan Love played that, but in, real, in reality it was Aaron Rodgers, so now we have a new season, we have to Resign. We have to resign Jordan Love, I believe. I think he earned it. 39 touchdowns, 15 picks. Not bad. We have 14 players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we can work with. So, year two squad. This is what it's looking like. Jordan Love, of course, QB1. We actually ended up drafting Quinn Ears as his backup. So, now we have competition. Basically, pretty much competition. Quinn Ears is the backup quarterback. And I don't know what pick we drafted in him, as we I did not see it happen, but... He has potential to be QB of the future. So we have Jordan Love's job on the line pretty much. And, but other than that, we kept the offense the same. Defense kept pretty the same as well. Can't, uh, can't complain. Uh, 
in the offensive line, we did draft some new backups to, to help out. So that should be good. But now Jordan Love has Quinn Ewers on his back, ready to try to see if he could take that spot. So let's see how he does this season. Ooh, so we go 9-8 and eight winning the division, surprisingly. So we took over. We took over, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Jordan Love obviously stay, stayed with uh, his position as a QB1. And a statistic, let's see. We don't have anyone in the top three for anything, but we're a playoff contender. And we had the fourth offense in the NFL. So we went from eighth to fourth, and our defense was ranked six. So top five offense and defense, or top five offense and the top. We also signed DJ Ugalele as a quarterback, too. We had Quinn Ewers. And then Jordan Love doesn't have a player tag, so that's great. But he had 35 touchdowns, 17 picks, 101 passer rating. Aaron Jones had 1,300 yards along with 10 touchdowns. Christian Watson and Jaden Reed both went off. Luke Musgrave went off as well, too, along with Romeo Dobbs. So we have our guys. Jaden Reed is that missing piece. Rashawn Gary had 12 sacks, so he finally turned up. Kenny Clark had 12 and a half. Preston Smith at four and a half. And Luke Van Ness at two, coming from his position. And then Harrison Hand, I guess a cornerback we have, just did his thing. Got, an intercept got a couple interceptions. So Jordan Love brings us to the playoffs. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, let's see how we do. We're facing the Giants. We're home. Jordan Love's first playoff debut. We ended up losing 31-17. to 31-17. to 17. Now, let's see if the fault of that game was on us. Or if it was on Jordan Love. Or if it was just, and we just got outclassed. Jordan Love threw two picks and got sacked twice. Caleb Williams is actually quarterback one on the Giants. And uh, he bodied us. So, interesting. We have a lot of... Lots of different things going on. Also, rush attack, we got Saquon went sick on us. So, But Jaden Reed was the best receiver. So Jaden Reed has been the gem. He has been the gem on the squad, which is nice to see. And, um, yeah, so Jordan Love's playoff debut ends in a loss. So we have to change that up. We have thir the third season coming up for for him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that he can, uh, you know, kind of get it together. Kind of show us that uh, he he's the guy. I mean, two-time... Two time having a great season, two times in a row having a good season, and uh, yeah, I mean, let's hope that uh, he made the Pro Bowl at least so we can give him more of an incentive. So, Pro Bowl roster, we got Super Bowls, the Commanders, I mean, in the Commanders, and and the Chiefs again. So, no Pro Bowl this season. Aaron Jones made it though. Receivers, none of our receivers, none of our tight ends, none of our offensive line either, surprisingly. Kenny Clark made it along with Sean Gary, none of our corners. So pretty interesting with, with the players they choose for the Pro Bowl. But Jordan Love obviously hasn't made it. Still, he still hasn't done enough. So we're gonna sim we're gonna simulate past the offseason, see how see how we look like before we go into season number three with Jordan Love as QB1. We're into the third season of Jordan Love being QB1. We are 74 overall. We have same receiver core, offensive line is still pretty good, tight ends are pretty solid too. Uh, defense, we have Zach Zach Seiler here. D line is pretty solid. Cornerbacks are pretty good. Uh, we ended up signing Julian Love from the looks of it. Linebackers pretty much stayed the same. So we pretty we have a say the same squad. Hoping that we could uh, take off with them. You know we had a top five offense and defense. So let's see if Zach Seiler could do his job and uh, hold it down for us. So another another season we make the playoffs. So it looks like we're the real deal here. There's nothing more to it. I mean. I mean, yes, we didn't win the division. Last year we did. Lions went 9-8, and eight, and Bears went 11-6. and six, But we're facing them. And uh, let's see how we did statistically before we see how we do in this matchup. Our offense went from being top 5 to going to top 25. But our defense was ranked second. So we got the second best defense in the league. 13 picks from Jordan Love. So changing the offensive scheme did not help out. But rushing attack was still pretty solid. Still had 2,000-yard receivers. So Jaden Reed has been the, the obvious the, the guy here, of course. And defense, surprisingly, our defense only being number two, we did a great job. We did a great job from the looks of it. So we have a playoff matchup here with uh, with uh, the Bears, and uh, let's see how we do. Snowy game here in the fro in the in the Bears Soldier Field. We got Jordan Love here, no. and he gets taken down on a read option. So options might not work for him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, touchdown pass to Luke Musgrave. So Jordan Love throws on the money, right? So Jordan Love has been able to, oh my gosh. On the run, dime, oh my gosh. That looked pretty nice though. 
that looked pretty nice. So in that game, Jordan Love threw two touchdowns, one interception, at 51 completion percentage. Not one of his best games, but he had an 82 pass rating. We had a great, insane rushing attack by Aaron Jones with 20 carries, 139 yards, three touchdowns. And Robert Tunyon, the op, <laughs> had eight catches, 92 yards. But we did our thing. Luke Musgrave had that touchdown catch. And um, we, we looked pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. Luke Van Ness had three sacks. Okay, so he just went off. So did Kenny Clark. So did Eric Stokes. So we were getting sacks. So sacks was the name of the game. But we won our first playoff game with Jordan Love. So a rematch. Jordan Love versus Caleb Williams again. So we're going to be facing the Giants. Uh, it should be a tough one. But the best defense versus a pretty good offense. So let's see how they do. We ended up losing a tough one. 45 to 37. So it looks like... It looks like... Caleb Williams has Jordan Love's number, but if he performed well, I believe that uh, Jordan Love is the guy. Jordan Love is the guy. He had four touchdowns, 372 yards, got sacked four times, while Caleb Williams had a great game as well, too. Got sacked twice, no turnovers. Oh my gosh, the rushing attack by Saquon Barkley, 14 carries, 174 yards, three touchdowns. So he's just been carrying, but Aaron Jones did pretty good, too. He did really good himself. Romeo Dobbs went sick. I didn't know the Giants had DeAndre Hopkins. Okay, that's tough. That's super tough. So, of course, the, he went off. But our guys, we got, we had guys that went off too. So, we're, we can't be too mad about how we performed. But we had guys making plays. They had guys making plays. And the better team won, of course. But Jordan Love looks like the real deal. I think he'll be able to... Hopefully, I hopefully this translates into real life. That he'll be able to take over like this. But so far with Madden Simulation, it shows that he's got it. You know, he, he's the guy. He's quarterback one. And um, he's willing to help this team go all the way.